And with that, they set off for a historic run. Dozens of athletes paced for 21 kilometers on the frozen Pangong Lake, more than 4,000 meters above sea level, the first of its kind in India. I am absolutely thrilled and fortunate that I am part of the history which is in the making because uh, these kind of runs only happen in Europe or in Russia where the temperatures go down to such levels. Pangong Lake is nestled in the Himalayas. It extends to nearly 160 kilometers, most of which is in China. Temperatures fall to minus 30 degrees Celsius in winter. Only 75 people who have run at high altitudes were selected for the race. Runners trained for days to acclimatize. Even though we have a good cardio base, uh, you know, running at lower altitudes, but still coming at 4,200 meters challenges your aerobic system. Your, your uh, diaphragm and your lungs are very challenged uh, and you've got to learn to breathe harder. The event is called the last run to raise awareness about the consequences of global warming. Looking at the rapid melting glacier imposed by global climate change, uh, we thought um, to send a strong message to the world uh, saying that this could be the last run on frozen Pangong Lake. Similarly, these glaciers on the Himalayan mountain may not freeze and stay forever. Ladakh is a cold desert in the Himalayas and home to many glaciers. People here have been demanding more protection for their land. They say increased human activity in the area like large developments and tourism are melting glaciers and threatening their livelihoods. These black unburnt carbon, mind you we are at 11 to 15,000 feet, so fuels don't burn properly. So the fuels go up as soot, which is black carbon, and fly to the glaciers and cover them up with a darkish tinge, which means the glaciers absorb the sun even more. The event has set a world record for the highest frozen lake half marathon. Runners hope this will inspire action against the biggest threat facing our planet. Pavni Mittal Al Jazeera.